I didn't know exactly what to expect meeting Gail for the first time. I'd seen some of her dolls online and searched her Facebook page. I've seen dolls before, but these were different. They all seemed to say something, to look back at me, to have the character all their own, and who would put the time in to add those special unique details, to give each doll their own personality, to bring each doll to life. The world of one-of-a-kind art dolls is a special and magical place where no two dolls are the same. Each one is a masterpiece in and of itself, and the person who ends up owning it will know that there isn't another one like it. When I begin a new doll concept, I'll usually start with a sketch. So I trace my pattern onto the fabric, sew it, cut it. And then I stuff it with just a regular polyfill, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Generally, I'll create a head first, and they will look pretty much like this. They have different shapes. There's a lot I can do to make them resemble a certain person, or just to have qualities that a person is looking for, such as the square jaw on this head here, she'll end up being a heroic female type, an amazing, very strong doll. And this lady is more of a fairy type, kind of a whimsical doll. I kind of like how her head's tilting like that. It makes her look very thoughtful. I make dolls with all kinds of hairstyles and different textures of hair, but this is my all-time favorite because you can just have so much fun with it. And it's real hair, you can style it, it's lamb, and you can color it, and you can cut it, and use hair products on it. So that's fun for us ladies to be able to have some ability to customize our dolls. The tiniest little details are very important to me. So I will learn to hand make as much as I can because then you get more of a cohesive look and that's very important when you're creating art. Dolls tend to tell stories of a person's life and their dreams and their goals and their past. And what draws a person to a special doll is a very personal connection. This is Nomi. She's a portrait doll that I made for a person who wanted to capture their beauty uh, in time in doll form. And she's super great. She can be posed and she can sit and she's got this fantastic outfit and these really fabulous shoes. This is Little Honey Bunny and I just love her tiny little style and fashion. She's really interested in making the Contessa because as you can see, she has very intricate clothing. Similar to Little Honey Bunny. And I can't make the doll without the furniture. Really fascinating. Her hair is adorned with pearls and roses. And the skirt is really pretty amazing. And she has these adorable little shoes underneath it all.
this Friday, I have an opportunity to meet Jack Johnston. They're in the back room. Jack's a world-renowned award-winning doll artist. He's teaching a class at my friend Sherry Fredo's house. Yes. Okay, what should we do? Let's just follow me back. Sherry's the president of the Professional Doll Makers Art Guild. Her and Jack Johnston run the guild and do classes and she makes beautiful ball jointed dolls which I really love and admire. Jack is an icon in the field of doll making. He's been teaching for decades and decades and he's always willing to help a new person find their next level in their doll making. Without that early influence of a, a more mature doll maker encouraging me, I may not have been able to get where I am today. So I'm really grateful that I have found friends that turned out to be just a wonderful support group and just a priceless relationship. Yes, yeah, she came out nice. We'll have to think of a name. They're just precious. <laughs> One of the best parts of being a doll maker is that you get to present a person with a special doll made just for them. Doll making is about letting go. Thank you. This is one of, literally one of the best things I have ever received oh, from someone. I'm sorry. I it's about creating a beautiful persona and then giving it to somebody. Thank you so, so much. Even grown-ups like to play with dolls, and I think it's okay to play with dolls. They represent the beauty of mankind and womankind, and I think they represent the ideal goodness in all of us. So it all makes sense to me now. Why a doll maker does what they do, and the piece of themselves they put into the dolls. And now I know just what it means to be given the gift of one of these special dolls. <laughs>